Hi, so um, with this, we're going to do a little recap what we have done till now. So we have seen the sounds of A, which can be E, like Anine, which means the older child. And we make li liaison, which can be un, an ange, an angel, uh, which can be un. So, e, un, un, une main. We have also seen the sound e, which is e, e, as un bébé. E, uh, une mère, un père. And this is that sound. And that sound. Okay? And here we've seen that it's that sound. This means and, and this means is. If you were paying attention in class, you know that. So, e, e, un, same as this one, un, and it can be um, un rein, that's a kidney, and then we have e, which is exactly that sound again, e, treize, which means 13. So, we have also seen the sound O, which makes U and U, not to be confused with U. If you remember, we have said that the difference TU, which means you, and TU, all everybody so tu 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 we talked about this how important it is to make the differences so that was the sound o and we also saw the sound e which makes a which is exactly the same as this one and this one and this one okay which we saw before uh, anything else? No. We also saw that in every word, let's say the word blanc, in general, we do not pronounce the last letter. This is masculine. We have to learn the articles every time. So this is masculine. Un blanc. If we want to make it female, what do we do? We put an E. And in this case, une blonde. Okay? If you were paying attention uh, at the lesson, you know that this is how it works. This works like a little anchor that drags this sound out. We don't make liaison here because this is not a vowel. What else have we learned? We also learned C. We learned that C in front of an A, in front of an O, in front of a U, makes the sound K. And in front of an E and an I, it makes that sound. Now, if we want to make this sound like SA, we add this. And it makes SA, SE, SU. Without it, Ka, ko, ku. This helps you when you have a new word, even if you don't know what it means. You read it and you go, mor, morceau. Un, 
à me son. Okay? And we saw that this rule of E and I applies also to G. Ga, go, gu, and je, j. In order to have ja, we insert an i. Geo o jo. And if we want to make this g, gi, we insert this. So when, for example, you have a word like this, you know that this is ga, ra, j. Okay? Um, what else did we also cover? We covered that le, la, and le is totally different. This means the, masculine. La means the, feminine. Le means the, plural. Un means a or one, une, a or one, that's masculine, that's feminine, un, une, de. So, for example, if you say, j'ai des enfants, It means, I have children. In English, we don't use that. So, but in French, we do. What else did we see? We saw the verb être, which means to be. And we also saw the ver verb avoir, which means to have. Um, and we also covered... Let me write this down. So it's je suis. This is the verb être. Je suis. Tu es. The S rule at the tu. Il est. Nous sommes. Vous êtes. And here you make the sound. Wait. Vous êtes. Because here you make the sound Z because there's a liaison. This is the S and a vowel. You put it together. Vous êtes. Ils sont. Very important. This makes the sound S. And this means they are. Not to be confused with. Je cannot be pronounced je, as many of you do sometimes. It's je, which means I. Je means I have. Tu as. Il a. Nous avons. That makes the sound Z. Vous avez. Why? Because there's a vowel here. So it makes a liaison. So, so, ils sont and ils ont, they must not be confused. This is to be, this is to be, and this is to have. So we learned that, or we are in the process of learning it. And to finish off, um, I explained that there are three groups of verbs. Premier group, deuxième group, troisième group. And the ones from the premier group, they usually end up with ER at the end. And it's very simple. All you have to do is learn this by heart. Il, nous, vous. 
il. You learn these endings. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that's correct. E, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. So, for example, you have the verb marcher. You take that off. Je marche. Tu marches. Il marche. Nous marchons. Vous marchez. Il marche. Let's take another one now. Let's take the verb parler, which means to talk. So what do we do? Yes, again, we erase this and we go je parle, tu parles, il parle, nous parlons. Okay, hold on. Parlons, vous parlez, il parle. Okay, and so on. You can do any verb from the French group if you know your endings. Which was a requirement. We talked about this many, many, many times. So, um, that's what we covered more or less till now. Uh, use this video to um, to work and to refresh what we learned and to show your parents so they know what you're doing. Okay? And um, I'll see you soon.